Hello everyone, and welcome to a flash guide for the official build of Resurrection Remix Pi for our Nexus 6P. So of course you'll need an unlocked bootloader already, and TWRP already installed. Now if you're wanting to unlock the bootloader, I do have a video on that, I'll have a link down below as well, or you could click on the little info box up in the top right hand corner. But once you have done that, you can come back to this video, and we'll take a look at installing this ROM. Now on each ROM page on XDA, there's usually the instructions for installation. Now this has outlined it quite well for us here, and we're just going to follow this because what better way to install a ROM than to follow what the ROM developer has specified. So down here under downloads, you can download the ROM from get.resurrectionremix.com and click on Angler, which is our 6P, and then we should see a file here. So you can download the latest one because if you're watching this in the future, there will probably be more builds for this. Uh, with bug fixes, more features, and things like stability. So click on that and you can download the zip right away and save that somewhere. And the next thing you might want to get, this is optional, is the Google Apps. Because the ROM itself doesn't come with any Google Apps, it's quite stock. So what you need to do here if you do want Google Apps, you need to select ARM64 for the platform and then of course select Android 9.0 for the Android version and the variant here you can actually choose what kind of packages you want. So if you hover over them, you get a little uh, little pop-up here describing what kind of apps you get with it. So my usual pick is usually micro or nano, and sometimes mini. So just choose a variant that you are comfortable with. Uh, I would probably go with Aroma or anything from stock, mini, micro, nano, and pico. Maybe not full because it doesn't replace the uh, stock Android open source project apps that are included in some ROMs. So I'm going to download the micro one. Once you select all the right options, so ARM64, Android 9.0 Pi, and the variant that you want, you can just click on the red download button here, and that will start downloading the appropriate Google Apps. And last but not least, uh, maybe you'll also want to root uh, your phone while you're at it. And to do that, you can download the latest version of Magisk, and we can flash that during the uh, ROM installation process. And you can just download the latest stable version or beta version, doesn't really matter. If you are suffering from the boot loop of death and you're wanting to try out Resurrection Remix, I'm sure your first boot may take up to 20 minutes now. If that doesn't stir you away, then you can definitely flash this as well. So as usual, you would flash the ROM, you would flash the BLOD injector workaround. Uh, so there are instructions here and there are also some, you will probably need to use a different version of TWRP as well and then you can you know, flash the ROM, then flash the workaround, flash Google Apps, and Magisk if you want root as well. So you can also follow that. So if you are suffering from the boot loop of death, this ROM isn't off limits to you, you can just apply the usual procedures here and it should work just fine. But as I mentioned earlier, your first boot might take a little bit longer since you're only using four cores. And I have everything pretty much saved in these separate folders. Uh, so once you have these three files downloaded, you just need to copy them to your device. So uh, to do that real quick, what you have to do is just unlock your device. You need to change from USB charging this device to transfer files. This will look a little bit different if you're on Android Pi. But once you've done that, you can head back to your computer and open up a new Explorer window. And from there you should see Nexus 6P. Open up the internal shared storage. I already have Magisk here, so that's fine. I'm going to copy over the ROM that I've downloaded, which is this one. Just copy over to where it says the root of storage. You can see the little tooltip next to my cursor and make sure you're not putting it into these folders that are on your device. It happens sometimes and then you think you didn't copy it over, but we'll let, wait for that to copy over. And after that, we're going to uh, copy over the Google Apps that we also downloaded. Here we are, so make sure I got the right one here and just make sure I copy over to the root. And once you've gotten that done, uh, here's where I can say that you need to back up your phone and any kind of things you want to keep just in case things do go wrong because you are replacing your operating system and this will constitute a factory reset. It won't touch your internal storage when we do the reset, but it will of course wipe your app data and your apps and you'll need to set up the device again like so. If you're coming from a ROM that requires the use of file-based encryption, so for example the Pixel Experience ROM for the Nexus 6P, 
and you're currently on that ROM and you want to flash Resurrection Remix, uh, you will need to wipe your internal storage because Resurrection Remix uses the full disk encryption uh, method instead. So depend depending on which ROM that you're coming from, or if you know what kind of encryption your current user data uses, you may or may not need to format your internal storage. But in this particular instance, if you're coming from the Pixel Experience ROM or any other ROM that requires you to use a different version of TWRP or explicitly tells you that they are using file-based encryption, so FBE, you will need to wipe your internal storage uh, after flashing the ROM. So I'm gonna head to my phone here and you need to back up everything that you have pretty much now before we reboot into TWRP. And you can also make a backup in TWRP as well, which I will show you the basics of doing so. So right now I'm going to reboot my phone into the recovery mode and I'm just going to do it via the bootloader. So at this point, I also presume that you have a custom recovery installed as well. If not, uh, I'll write up some quick instructions down below or perhaps make a video about it. But I'm sure you can work that out on your own. But down here, you just need to go over to recovery mode and this will boot yourself into TWRP, uh, providing that you have flashed it earlier, as I mentioned just then. Okay, we need to decrypt our data partition, quite standard. So at this point, you can make a backup, a full backup of your system here. Uh, what you usually want to select is the default partition, so the boot system and data, and you might want to back up your vendor partition as well. And as always, if you haven't actually backed up your EFS partition, you should do that pretty much as soon as you can and copy it to a safe place, so your computer, uh, just in case you ever lose your IMEI or the EFS becomes corrupted, you can just restore it and restore the phone functionality part. But I won't get into that right now, but you can definitely make a backup here in TWRP, but make sure you copy it off of your phone if you do choose to do that. And as for the installation instructions, if I just bring it up so I don't make any mistakes here, all we need to do is go into wipe. As usual, we need to factory reset our phone and then go back and then do an advanced wipe to wipe the cache and the system just in case and the, the cache down there as well, uh, just in case the factory reset didn't do anything. It should have, but th this is more of a precaution. Now head back all the way back to the main menu, then tap on install and we usually flash the ROM first. So tap on the ROM here and swipe to flash that. You can queue up all your zips if you want to as well, but I like to go through it one by one. And you can see here this build that we're flashing here as well. So it's going to install itself into the system partition and then probably install something to the vendor partition as well since we're on a different version of Android. And I'll just wait for this to complete. I'll fast forward it until it's finished. Alrighty, so now that's finished, we can now go ahead and flash the Google Apps package. This is optional. If you don't want any Google Apps on your phone, maybe you want to get away from that, or you don't have to flash the Google Apps. So this is also going to put stuff in our system and our vendor partitions, and we'll install the Google Apps that are provided depending on which package or variant that you chose from Open Gaps. So I'm going to fast forward this, and you'll see a list of all the apps that do get installed uh, while it does the installation. Okay, so the installation of our Google Apps has finished. So let's go back once more. And again, this is optional. We're going to root our ROM here using Magisk. So we're just going to swipe to flash that. Okay, so we're done installing Magisk. And if we've got nothing else to do, which I don't think we do, we can tap on Reboot System here. And then we shall see our phone boot up into Resurrection Remix, hopefully. So just cross your fingers for 10 minutes as uh, it does say that it may take up to 10 minutes for the first boot to actually, uh, well, boot up. Okay, I felt a vibration here. So this is just our um, secure lock that we set up earlier. So we do need to do that if you have enabled that secure startup. And then it should continue uh, loading stuff from our phone. Okay, so it looks like our phone has booted up finally. It only took about eight minutes, which is nice. And we're just stuck at this kind of squashed Google logo right now. But there we go. The animation has finished, a little bit choppy, but that's fine. So you can see that it's just the usual Google setup, I hope. Yes, okay, good. 
and you would just go through this normally, connect it to a Wi-Fi network, and yada yada yada. So I'm just going to skip that. Does this still work or am I doing it wrong? Okay, I did it right. That's cool. So that's a cool way that you can skip the setup wizard. Only available on, I think, some older versions of Android, like really old, and pretty much all, if not most, custom ROMs. So this is what you get if you flash the mini Google Apps on top of Resurrection Remix. Uh, I'm sure you can pause here and take a look for yourselves. And we can see some aspects of Lineage OS here. And I'm sure this, like, you know, stutters and stuff will go away eventually. Once it, I reckon it's pretty warm. Not too bad. But here we are. This is, a, oh, change of color palettes here. Resurrection tools. And this is where, you know, the gold stash is. Resurrection Remix has, you know, an abundance of features and functions that you can change. Lots of customization. Look at this, just endless pages and pages of customizations. And I believe, I think there was a, is there a dark theme? You can change the font down here. Style, system colors. So yeah, there is a, a dark mode. So we can make it black for our AMOLED devices. And we can change uh, the style here to dark. And give it a second, maybe. Yep, for it to restart the system UI. And would you look at that? That should change too. Uh, yes, it does. It did. And there you go. So yeah, lots of little functions and little tweaks out there. And let's just see what kind of build information we have here. Okay, so that's good. And on Android 9.0, you can see more details there about Resurrection Remix. And that's it. So let's just have a look at Magisk. You get the Trebuchet Launcher and the Google Now Launcher. I believe that's from the Google Apps package that we installed. And what was I going to look at? Magisk. Okay, so if your Magisk icon doesn't appear or the app doesn't show up, you can restart your phone uh, and it should show up after that. Or you can actually just install the APK, uh, the Magisk Manager APK, and you'll be able to, uh, you know, use Magisk after that. So don't worry if it doesn't show on the first boot, it will afterwards as well. So that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please feel free to leave a like, and if you'd like to see more custom ROMs, and uh, installation instructions, and perhaps some reviews in the future, the near future, uh, please feel free to subscribe and all that. And if you have any other questions, also feel free to leave a comment down below, otherwise I'll be more than happy for you to actually join us on Discord here, a link to that is also down below. It's just so much easier to talk about whatever it is you want to talk about on Discord rather than in the comments section down below on YouTube. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and as always, happy flashing.